Surgery is not just, you know, cutting and sewing. We really develop a relationship with our residents and fellows. If you feel that you want to be in a tight-knit group, I think North is a great spot for you. My name is Frank Mineta. I'm the program director for the residencies in thoracic surgery at Northwell Health. We have two programs right now. We have an I-6 program, which we take one resident, which is usually straight out of medical school. And we also have a traditional fellowship, which begins five years after general surgery, and that's a two-year program. The program here at Northwell is phenomenal. It's kind of the combination of everything I was looking for in an individual program. It's very different here. We have both integrated and non-integrated residents, and they work very well together. We do cater to our residents and what they need on a one-to-one -one basis. You do have the option because of the way this program is set up to do the last year of training a little bit more in cardiac or more in thoracic or equal in both if you have a track you'd like to pursue. The program is unique in many ways. Number one is we are part of a large healthcare system and the variety of cases and number of cases, I, I don't think there's any place in the United States that's able to match both of what we have. I know that we have been at the forefront of cardiothoracic training so the residents are really seeing and participating in a large variety of minimally invasive procedures. The residents will see basic bread and butter cases to very challenging advanced cases. We do transiorc valve replacements, we do transplants, surgery for heart failure, surgery for atrial fibrillation, robotic surgery. We offer almost everything that you can offer in cardiothoracic surgery. There's three different campuses. One is Long Island Jewish Medical Center where the thoracic surgery training takes place. The second major campus is at the North Shore University Hospital in Manhasset. And there is Lenox Hill in the city. And each campus has their own unique personality and so it's great for our trainees to see that diversity. So North Shore, which is really our cardiac epicenter but has a huge referral area, is also a level one trauma center, which is supported by the fact of our helicopter system and the breadth of the Northwell system. The patient population of the residents encounter is very vast. You're in New York City, in suburbs of New York City, you will see immigrants who literally just come off of planes with complex cardiothoracic issues to people who are well established and affluent who come from the North Shore. The patient population we have the opportunity to see here really is tremendous. There is no patient you won't see. We have as broad based a socio economic and cultural group of patients that we are privileged to take care of is anywhere in the world. Queens has more languages spoken than any place else in the country and probably any place else in the world. And that's both culturally and medically interesting because the patients come in with different backgrounds and then many different medical problems that the residents might not otherwise see had they not been in a, a mixed area. The faculty that we have the opportunity to work with really are second to none. Some of them are world leaders in what they do for their clinical realms, some of them are research heavy, um, and all of them have taken a huge investment into us. Each of us has our own interest and specialty so that the residents have experience working with faculty members that are interested in all the aspects of cardiothoracic surgery. And really fun to work with, easy to bounce ideas off of. We have aortic surgeons, one of the busiest aortic root surgeons in the Northeast. And then you swing over to the thoracic surgery side. We have uh, one of the busiest robotic thoracic surgeons in the country, Dr. Paul Lee. We have Dr. Zeltzman who does single incision surgery, was one of the few surgeons in the country, if not world, to do it. And that doesn't mean that you don't get to do it. You're in the OR with him. He expects you to operate and function like him and will teach you how to do it his way. They really have taken an investment in teaching us and bringing us into their services. They have the unique experience of working with a lot of different surgeons and learning their different styles, not only in the operating room, but how they interact with patients and decide what is right for them and develop their own style. For instance, for like a lung resection, we have people who do it with uh, just a VATS or a uniportal VATS or a robotic. And so you kind of see all these different techniques and different ways to kind of tackle the same problem. So I kind of learn these different ways to kind of see which way would be best for me. I think the thing that sets our residency program apart is the time that we spend with the residents. I try to teach them everything that I think is important for them to be highly qualified practitioners.
The residents from day one are incorporated into the care pathway for the patients. So they interact with the nurses, they interact with the ACPs, and they definitely interact with the attendings. Historically, the culture in cardiothoracic residency programs was much more hierarchical and dogmatic. We create a culture where everybody is watching out for each other that's very well conducive to teaching and learning. We really offer multidisciplinary training. You're not in a, an isolated just with the thoracic surgery or just with general surgery or just with cardiac surgery. We really work with every division in the hospital closely. We have multidisciplinary conferences and I think that really helps you grow as a doctor. They're working with pulmonologists, they're working with gastroenterologists, they're interacting with medical and radiation oncology doctors. We also have a very strong simulation program. We have the BioSkills program, which is located across the street. It's a dedicated area where the residents train on high fidelity simulation. These models beat, these models beep, these models bleed. BioSkills facility is designed by Northwell for the sole purpose of creating an environment that's safe to teach people. It, it costs a lot of money to do it, but the system is fully behind it. I chose the program here at Northville because it's a very clinically heavy program. We do have research opportunities as well. There's no shortage of opportunities to participate in a variety of different kinds of research, and um, there's a lot of flexibility in what you want to do and how much you want to do. Certainly the residents are encouraged to work with the attending physicians in terms of doing clinical research. We have research programs that the residents participate in that are more bench research type of programs that they're welcome to do. They can work both with the primary faculty as well as with the research faculty either at Cold Spring Harbor Laboratory or at the Feinstein Institute, which are more basic science programs. The quality of life of the resident is, is actually quite good. We believe that wellness is very, very important for the resident. I have actually a great quality of life here. I live in Williamsburg in Brooklyn, and uh, I have a great commute here in the morning. It gets me very easy access to the city whenever I want. I think this is a place where you can have a life, enjoy yourself, enjoy working with the people around you, and learn everything you need to be a cardiothoracic surgeon. As far as a residency program, I think it's fantastic. And I think that comes in large part to how close the residents are. It's always fun, and even when the, it gets stressful, it's a group of residents and a group of attendings that I'm excited to come and work with every day. Our program director is, always has our back. He's, uh, Dr. Mehta really makes this program, I think, what it is. It's an exciting time to be a resident and to train in cardiothoracic surgery because there's so many different areas that are available to the cardiothoracic surgeon. There's subspecialties which they can pursue. They can truly tailor their career to what they want to do based on the training that they receive here. By seeing so much here, you really feel like you can take on pretty much anything. In surgery, you always are resting on the shoulders of the people that taught you. We get to experience the feeling of helping somebody else, which is a great feeling in life. Cardiac surgery and cardiothoracic surgery it really kind of pushes every realm of medicine. There's an exponential rate of change of what we do and how we do it. To succeed in a training program as rigorous as cardiac surgery, you really need the backing and the support of a family, and we are their family for the years that they're here. I thought about it recently, looking back to when I was an intern and just scared about everything. Uh, and now five years into it, taking the juniors now who are scared through different cases. So for me, seeing the residents growing like that is tremendous. It's a total transformation to professional. It's how they interact with people. It's how they hold themselves. In residency, I've really, truly figured out what I want to do with the rest of my life. And I think Northwell's really provided me that opportunity. You know, we have world-class surgeons here and they have high volume. So I think if you want to get trained and learn how to be a surgeon, you want to have research opportunities, and you want to be with residents who truly enjoy being with each other, I don't think you can really ask for anything else.